Starlets. I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. We're bringing a little bit of glamour to everyday life. If you want to join my Starlet squad, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Today I am bringing you my February favorites, basically my A-list and D-list products. Everything I've been loving and hating for the month of February. It's February, right? <laughs> I have like this running nightmare that I say the wrong month through an entire favorites video. Hashtag YouTuber problems. Anyway, so I'm gonna jump into my favorites. To be honest, this month I've been testing out a lot of skincare and some of it has been working out really well and some of it has really not been working out well. I'll get to that in a minute. I'm all glammed up for this video today, but to be honest, I haven't been doing a lot of makeup stuff this past month. So I actually don't even think I have any makeup favorites. This is weird. Okay. Most of the skincare stuff, like I'm not really finished testing so I'm not really ready to talk about quite yet but I do have a few skincare hair beauty general stuff so let's just get into it okay the first thing is it's very new to me I want to say I've been using this for a month I don't know exactly when I started it's actually kind of weird I bought this I saw this on Sephora I didn't really realize it was a new product right away it's just it was everything that I had been looking for in a moisturizer so I got it and then I realized that it was a new product and like everybody's all hyped up about it for good reason this is the Peter Thomas Roth clinical care water drench Hyal hyaluronic <laughs> yes learned how to talk today okay Hyal hyaluronic <laughs> cloud cream. Let's just leave it at that. This is 30% hyaluronic acid complex, draws atmospheric vapor, helps lock in hydration for up to 72 hours for all skin types. I've been on this like obsession with digging through like skincare ingredients. I realized that, like a lot of the skincare products that I was using contained like dyes and fragrances and stuff like that. So I was looking for something that was like fragrance free, this is actually fragrance free, alcohol free, oil free. Not that oils are always bad for you, but my skin tends to get a little weird with oils. Like I can get away with using oils on my skin, but only certain ones and I don't like to do a lot because I have, I have combination skin. My T-zone gets very oily, so anyway. I actually think this could be great for anyone, although I think if you are someone who likes a really heavy cream, if you've really dry skin, I don't know if this would necessarily work for you. I don't have dry skin, so I can't really speak on it per se, but I find this just, it really is cloud cream. I mean, it's, it's literally like you're putting just this pillowy cloud of perfectness. I, I love everything about this except for something which I'll mention in a second. It's just like, it's not a gel, it's a cream, but it's almost like a gel, but you put it on and like you know it absorbs into your skin, but it doesn't like completely absorb into your skin. If you like something that just like completely absorbs into your skin immediately, which I know a lot of people do, you probably won't like this. I don't like things that just like completely absorb into your skin because I feel like my skin just feels dry in a few minutes and with this, it doesn't like it. It doesn't totally absorb into your skin, although I do use a lot of this at a time. I'll get to that in a minute. It's hard to really explain. I just, I, I love the feeling. It like, it absorbs, but yet it's not like fully absorbed, so it still feels like your face is moisturized. This has just really been a help for just keeping my skin nice and hydrated and it's like non-irritating cream. Cloud cream, yes. The only downfall about this, and maybe I'm using too much, I don't know, uh, because my skin has been a little wonky lately, so I've just been kind of like slathering it on. This is, well, I mean, the packaging, like, there isn't even that much of it in the package, and I go through this really quickly. I, it's only been like a month, maybe a little over a month, and this is my second container. I already repurchased this. I mean, it's pricey. It's not ridiculously pricey for a moisturizer. It's pricey, I think, for the amount of product that you get and for how quickly I go through it. I've been using, because I've been using this day and night, I've been using a lot of it. So, I, like, I wish you got more in a package. I actually have another backup. So I've, I've purchased this like three times. This is my second. I'm just starting this, but I got a backup because at one point I went to order it and it was sold out. And I was like, ah, no, I can't. If I run out, I'll panic. So that's my only downfall. It's like, it's pricey, I think, compared to how much product you get. Now quickly I go through it, if that makes sense. Only downfall other than that, I love this stuff. Another product that I've been using for a really long time and I don't think I've ever mentioned 
on my channel. Maybe I have. I don't know. I don't talk about hair care all that often and I really should. This is the Way line and this is put out by Jen Atkins who's a celebrity hairstylist. She does a lot of people but she mainly does the Kardashians. That's what she's known for. It's spelled funny but it's pronounced Way. I kind of was like, oh whatever, the Kardashian hairdresser came out of the hair care line, whatever, talk about something's gonna be overhyped, blah blah blah. Everything I've tried from this brand, because I fell into the hype and I got some stuff, everything I've tried from this brand I've really loved. Especially the hair oil. I actually haven't placed an order to try some other stuff and I've tried a few other things from them, but this is the one I've been using the longest. Just like totally defrizzes, just a really great like lightweight oil. I never feel like it's heavy on my hair. My I have a lot of hair, but it's very fine. So I feel like certain oils, like if I do too much, it can get greasy really quickly. So I've just been loving everything about this. The only thing I will say about this product line is that as much as I really like it and I feel like it's really effective, everything has like a fragrance to it. It's usually a strong fragrance. It's not bad. It's just if it's not your type of fragrance, it might bother you. I like the smell of everything that I've tried so far, so, you know, I don't have a problem with it, but you might want to, like, maybe, like, go to the store, smell a sample, see if you like the fragrance, because if you don't like the fragrance, it is kind of strong. I don't notice it lasting all that long throughout the day, but I do know that when you apply it, it's kind of a strong fragrance, so... Test it out, see if you like it, but I've just been really impressed and I'm excited to try more, so I will keep you updated on the new stuff that I try out. Okay, another skincare product. This is kind of a long story. First Aid Beauty is based here in here. Not, not here in my room where I'm filming, but um, it's based here in Massachusetts where I am. And they actually, I met some people from First Aid Beauty at Sephora. I think I have like a vlog of that. I'll link it in the cards. And I met them and they basically offered to send me a PR package and this was one of the products in the PR package. Not this one, I've repurchased it since then, but they sent me this product. Um, it's the Ultra Repair Intense Hydration Cream and I feel like a lot of people have talked about this. It's not really a new product. I had it and I was just kind of using it like, I think I was using it as like a foot cream or something like that, which was great for, and I was almost done with it and then I had this weird, this is going to sound really weird, I got this really weird rash on like my neck and my chest and I think I've figured out now like what product made it bad, which is kind of why I'm like trying to film from like here up, because um, I had it, I went away, it came back, I think I figured out the product, I'm going to probably get into that at a later date. But anyway, I didn't know what it was. I thought, I kept like Googling it. I'm like, you know, chest rash, neck rash, what do you do? Oh my God, oh my God, what's going on? Like I was like, do I have psoriasis? I thought I had lupus. I thought I had, I thought I had like every disease on the planet. The closest thing I could come up with as a comparison was eczema. I don't think at this point that I, looking now that I know what I know, I don't think it was actually eczema, but I thought that it was eczema. I realized that this was actually good for treating eczema because it has the colloidal, colloidal something, oatmeal. I'm bad at pronouncing today, what is my problem? So I use this on my neck and my chest and while I don't think it necessarily healed it because I, I think it was an, another product that my skin didn't like that was causing the problem, I started just using this and this was so nice and hydrating and it like really, I feel like saved my neck and chest skin and now that the rash is back, and I'm, <laughs> I'm treating it again, and um, you know, now that I kind of know what the cause of it was and everything, I'm back to using this. It's just, it, it's been really helping hydrate that area. So that's kind of like a long and kind of personal story, but it's actually one of the reasons why I haven't filmed quite as much this month, because when I had it initially, I was just sort of like, ah, I don't know what's going on, and I'm weird, and I'm a freak, and whatever, so I wasn't filming quite as much. Now I kind of know what it is, it's still healing, but this has really been a just an absolute godsend. So if you have eczema or you know any kind of like skin irritation or anything like that, I highly recommend this product. It feels nice, it's it's very hydrating, but it's not it's not super heavy. I think it's like just heavy enough, if that makes sense. Check that out. As far as D-list products, I've had a few skincare products that I haven't liked, but I, I kind of, I'm still working some things out. So I don't have like a long list of D-list products. I did do 
reviews on uh, stick foundations and powder foundations this month and I have my, my A list and D list in those so you can check out those videos. I also have a review up on lash primers. You can watch the video so you can kind of see each lash primer and how they work but spoiler alert I kind of think lash primers in general are kind of a waste of money. If you have one that you really love let me know but I just kind of feel like at the end of the day find yourself a great mascara whether it be high end or low end or whatever just find yourself a great mascara spend your money on that as opposed to two products and use them together so it's not really like a specific d-list product I just think I just think lash primers in general are I don't find them all that helpful but that's just me I also have another product that I I love the brand and I love the original I just don't like this one Bioderma sent me a whole bunch of they sent me a few products but they sent me a bunch of micellar waters and like a PR kit and I do love the original Bioderma. I've actually been using it a lot more lately just to try to make sure I get all of my makeup off. So I've been really loving that. I forget the second one they sent me. I think it's like a hydrating one or something. I don't know. That one was okay. I don't really think it was any different than the original. But this purifying one, I mean it does a good job getting everything off, removing the makeup, but this stung my eyes like I could not believe. This was like so painful. I didn't notice any like skin irritation. I didn't notice it did a lot better job at getting makeup off. Maybe a little bit, but not like a lot better, but it just hurt my eyes so much that I just like, I, I can't, I can't use this. I just, I can't. It's painful. I was like crying. I was like, oh my god. So original Bioderma, love. The purifying, I, I, I can't do. I just can't. I can't do it. It's too painful. It's, it's too painful. So yeah, these are the things that I have been loving and hating for the month of February. If you have any products that you've been loving or products you've been hating for the month, let me know. I would love to hear from you. If you have any videos you'd like to see this coming month or in the future sometime, let me know too. I love to hear from you. I love your suggestions. You guys give me the best, the best ideas. And I want to make these videos for you, so let me know what you want to see. A while back I was suffering from anxiety and depression and I truly believe that beauty and makeup saved my life and I believe it can save yours too. So if you want to join my Starlet Squad be sure you hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on all my social media channels. The links will all be in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you join me next time.